Hey y'all, it's Imani the Senko for Bibblefile. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you all. Alright, so today I'm going to be highlighting a cookbook in this video. So the first video of my bookish remix series. And so I'm really, really excited. Um, the bookish remix series is going to consist of a videos where I highlight books. Um, I highlight books that are not traditionally what you will read. Um, also do videos related to books right so but maybe it's an interview with an author or speaking with a librarian and to help give you all you know a foundation of how you can access these books and so um, I'm really really excited about starting this series so it's called the bookish remix series and please stay tuned for that so today I'm going to be highlighting one of my favorite cookbooks and I have mentioned this cookbook in the black booktuber tag it's called the Black Family Reunion Cookbook Recipes and Food Memories from the National Council of Negro Women. And so um, what ended up happening is the, the, the Council of Negro Women, they hosted and organized over in seven cities these festivals that celebrated the black family. And so those festivals inspired this cookbook. And so there's over 250 recipes from black women across the United States um, that submitted recipes. And so I'm really, really excited to be highlighting um, this cookbook. And I will actually in this video be showing you all me trying for the very first time a recipe from this cookbook that I had not ever tried before. It's called an apple cake. And so I'm really excited to do Aunt, Aunt Narva apple cake. And so um, I'm very, and I will, oh, also the recipe, the instructions for that recipe will also be in the description box below if you all want to try it. Um, you all will also hear some live chatter. I'm going to keep some live chatter. Um, so most of it is going to be sped up with some music in it. But you all will hear some live chatter from my mother-in-law and my grandma as they were laughing at me as I was uh, baking this pot, I mean this cake. So I'm really, really excited uh, <laughs> for you all just to, you know, come into um, some of my life. And so, um, yes, this cookbook, I love it. As you all can see, I have tabs from some of the recipes that I love to gravitate towards. And so, um, okay, so you asked, who is the National Council of Negro Women. Well, in 1935, Mary, Dr. Dr. Mary Bethune uh, founded the National Council of Negro Women. And so really it's an organization comprised of a bunch of organizations. I think it has over like 300 organizations um, to, from state, national, college campus organizations all com compromised under it. And so um, they're all about the upliftment of the black people not just black women but the black people in general and so um if you want to check more out about the national council of negro women if you want to get involved with their organization i'll have all that information down below i'll have that links if you want to check out their um organ organization's website so i'm really really excited about um you all um you all getting to uh just experience me trying out one of the recipes um i love this cookbook and what's interesting is that in um the early 1900s dr mary mcboo bethune she actually um to raise money for her school she sold pies she sold sweet potato pies and her recipe is in this cookbook you can get this cookbook off of amazon that's where i found it um you probably can also find it at possibly you know on thrift books or something of that nature um, but you know, you can get a new copy of it. They did not revise it. So this is coming, this was published in 1991. Um, so I want to say 1990 or 1991. And so, um, you can get this book and it's, uh, let me tell you though, if you gluten free and, um, or if you're a vegan, you know, or pescatarian, I don't know if this cookbook is going to be for you. You might have to do a lot of substitutions. They do some, some of the recipes use like Crisco shortening. Um, you know, that's old school. If you're not into that, I don't know if this cookbook is going to be for you, but don't worry. I will have some cookbooks, um, that I will be featuring on this channel. Um, black cookbooks, um, that, you know, are vegan and vegetarian, things of that nature. So that, you know, 
we'll be able to service everybody. But yes, if you're if you do not have any dietary restrictions, I would definitely recommend checking this out. This is a great fundamental um, cookbook. I mean, you have chicken and dumplings, basic pie crust recipe. Um, you have baked macaroni and cheese. You have all these different things. It is not just southern black food. It's all uh, black food across the United States. So it's just, you know, it's really a delight. And so um, here is Aunt Nava's apple cake recipe. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please check out if you want to learn more about the National Council of Negro Women. Please check out their um, website link that I have in the description box below. And um, if you want to support the organization, you can still buy this cookbook from them off of um, Amazon. So definitely check it out. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and enjoy the autumn weather. Bye. domestic stuff mm -hmm. I'm screaming what, what, what I like to bake I know you do that's good mm. it said it will be stiff <laughs> it's stiff I'm telling you yeah stiff ain't the word, ain't the word. <laughs> we finna see hey. <laughs> all I can say is stiff, all right. it's stiff mm -hmm. I said it when I was cause oh, it's <laughs> Uh, Vicky, help out. That's your daughter in love. Help out. Now. It said I followed the directions to a T. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. And it said, it said combine flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt in a medium bowl. Did that. Combine sugar, oil, eggs in a large bowl. Did that. Add dry ingredients. How many eggs in the couples? Two. I mean, three. How many oil? One cup of vegetable oil. <laughs> Three cups of sifted all purpose flour. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Her facial expressions. They give me trouble. Everywhere. <laughs> On the job. Everywhere. I mean, oh Lord! You have I to tell me your, your, your daughter in love made us a apple. Frida. What is it called? <laughs>
didn't I call it the cake? <laughs> What did you call me? <laughs> what did you call? Oh, Jesus. I'm taking a picture of your mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ain't my recipe, boy. This is so... It's supposed to be a fresh apple cake, but it's going to be an apple fritter. Mm, mm, mm. Fritter. But you are not fritter. <laughs> this. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. y'all so um i just put the cake in the oven a heavy cake that is my grandmother in the background so as you all can see my face is flush red because my mother-in-law and my grandma no. have been cracking me up because the cake looks very stiff in the directions it says it's going to be stiff hallelujah I don't know about this y'all. I ain't saying no lie. But you know, this is the highlight for this week. We're gonna see. I was trying to be all fallish. And you see where that got me, so mm. we'll see what happens. It's a disclaimer. That is my disclaimer. We're gonna see what happens. And um I'm just gonna be optimistic. Okay, so um after I bake it for an hour at 350. Um, we're going to come back and show you what it looked like coming out of the oven. Mm-hmm. All right. That's it for this clip. I had such a good time at Mossy. He's a crater. All right, y'all. Yeah, so is. real quick, um, oh, it passed the taste test. We did uh, put um, <laughs> yeah, some yeah. sugar glaze. Right around, real easy oh, okay. water, okay, yeah. powdered uh, sugar, put a little bit of vanilla yeah. extract, a dash of cinnamon, and um, okay. I'm having it with some right vanilla yeah. ice cream. So I heat it up for like 15 <laughs> seconds, and I'm it's really good. So I'm really excited, and I definitely. I think you all should try out this Bye, recipe. Girl. Thanks. Yes. Bye.